Glad to have you with us. Happy Monday and welcome to Ozarks Live. Good How are you? Good weekend. I'm fine. I'm fine. How'd your weekend go? I had a really good weekend. How good. I saw a picture of you with the family. Yeah. It's all yeah. real nice color, uh, you know, leaves and everything. The colors are really pretty, of course, this time of year. And it's, yeah. it's kind of like they went zero to 60. You know, I mean, this yeah, year it, yeah. they were kind of dull and then all of a sudden they're just gorgeous. So, yeah, we ran out and took like literally two pictures. Yeah. Two little selfies, but we got a good one, and then everybody had to scatter. So. And also, the squirrels are going crazy. They have are. You, oh my gosh. They are. They're Sometimes everywhere. I'll be sitting on the, my porch, and you know, I have some bushes off next to me, and then a squirrel gets, I'll jump 10 feet. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like all of a sudden something's going <laughs> two feet away from me, and just. Yeah. Every time. Um, I think they do it on purpose. I think they know that I'm going to jump. Well, yesterday, Kelly and I went, and I'll bring you this on, on one of these girls' day out. We couldn't resist the, the nice weather, so we went down to the to Lake Springfield Boathouse oh, and got yeah. a canoe, right? And we just went out, and it was so beautiful. But what you just said reminded me, we were having lunch under one of the pavilions, mm -hmm. and those walnuts falling... <laughs> From the trees and hitting the top of that pavilion, <laughs> thinks you're. I mean, you think you're in a war zone there yeah, for a second. It yeah. is a little disconcerting and, and, to and hear that. And even though you know you jump 10 feet every time one of them hits, because they make a lot of noise. Yeah, they, you know, they'll hit out here in the yard or uh -huh. in the lawn, but then when they hit overhead, it's like, oh my gosh, this is freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. brag on something that I did Friday night. We talked about the taste of Tilake Pake, of right. course. Um, I got to brag on Springfield Sister Cities for just a minute. The virtual taste of Tilake Pake was a huge success. Friday Please. night, I hosted the event with this guy. This is board member and president elect Andy Drennan. Uh -huh. um, and this is the setup that we had. I mean, you can see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so we had a, you know, pretty much a control room. There are some of the musicians mm -hmm. uh, down from south of the border. So we had, you know, we had wonderful conversations with them. We, we appreciate everyone who purchased a streaming link. Um, Andy and I had a great oh, yeah. time. Yeah, uh, Tortilleria Purchase, of course, catered the event, and some people, oh. you know, went ahead and bought food, and they came and picked it up and took it home. There's Paco Padilla. Uh -huh. But anyway, we had a wonderful time chatting with our friends from Mexico in different locations, and then we had live music from them, and literally, you never know how things are going to go when you're on, like, a Zoom thing. Right. It was as smooth as silk. They might as well have been in the room with us. That would be great. It was remarkable the Did way it went off. Did you get to talk off. to Paco at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a nice man. What a great pro. Warm. I mean, they all are amazing. And they, yeah. the, the Quinta talent. Don Jose Hotel hosted all of the musical acts. Uh -huh. So almost everyone was in the hotel. And the owners of the hotel, the proprietors, talked to us about nice. the hotel and everything. It was just great. So anyway, thanks to everyone who participated. Loved all it. Right. Well, we have a great show for you guys today to start off this beautiful week. Our friends from Orleans Trail Resort and Restaurant are here to talk to us about the upcoming Stockton Lake Rodeo that's taking place this weekend. Yep, plus it is National Pulled Pork Day, and our friends from Price Cutter are going to drop off some dishes to help us celebrate that. Yeah, not to mention mm -hmm. dirt and back time is on the docket today, whether Joy likes it or not. Uh, yeah, plus Tom has a show for you that you can find on Netflix. Something he's really, he watched, he loves it, and he wants to share it with you. That's on his watch list this week. Yeah, but before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. All right, you've probably heard me say this many times, but it bears repeating. Emus are evil. You can see it right on their face. Case in point, police, animal control, and state wildlife officers got the call an emu is running loose in Florida and chasing people on the street. It had escaped on the west side of Jacksonville and led officials on a wild emu chase through several neighborhoods. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission spokeswoman Karen Parker reported the emu was finally captured when it wandered into Nichols Truck Bodies, a local business. You've all seen it in the movies before, the evil emu made the mistake of all evil but not too smart criminals and got itself penned in by entering into a dead end 
fence in area. Yeah. After that, it was walked into a trailer without a fight. Turns out the bird's owner was out of town and had escaped from a friend who was supposed to be taking care of it. At least that's the story that's being told, but I still don't trust emus. And you just look at that evil. I don't want to be the one to have to chase that thing down. No. No, 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 no. Let it run into the next township or whatever, and it's somebody else's problem. Well, you know, you look at birds, you think, cheep, 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 caw, caw, whatever. These make, the, yeah, they make a sound like someone banging their, their fingers on the side of a big bus. Hmm. I mean, it's a thrumming noise that yeah. they make. And they're cool animals. It's like dinosaur. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're in the distance. Yeah. yeah no, they're Stay still there. evil yeah. at a distance. All right, I've got one for you. This is on my radar today. Proof positive that more women should really be in charge of more things. Okay. okay? A law student named Brianna Hill recently graduated from Chicago's Loyola University Law School, and she was taking the first segment of the bar exam last Monday when she felt a sensation in her belly. You know, I'd be nervous too, taking. Sure. Exam, but she was 38 weeks pregnant at the time. Oh. Okay, so she was in the middle of the exam. What are you going to do? Well, after she finished that part, she realized her water had broken when she stood up, okay? But she had work to do, okay? According to TMZ, Brianna buckled down and managed to complete the second 90 minute section of the test, then went to the hospital with her hubby and a midwife in tow. And she delivered little Cassius Philip five <laughs> hours later. The next day, Brianna completed the bar exam from her hospital room and managed to nurse the baby at the same time during breaks. So let's just wow. hope she passed the bar. Apparently, test takers have to be <coughs> seen looking at their screens in this virtual world that we live in. You know, this is a proctored exam. Someone yes. is watching you. Uh, so she said she didn't dare get up that first day. She just kept on keeping on. Oh, okay, and she's tougher than George Patton. She's tougher than just about oh anybody my I gosh. know. To not, to Good not, on her. I hope she passed. I, I know I couldn't have done that. I'm just quite sure. Anyway, congrats yeah. to mom and baby and everyone involved. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I have another one, and and here we go again. Another Guinness World Record, and this one seems a bit on the dangerous and foolhardy side. Okay, even more than some other ones. The team of David Rush and Jonathan Hannon from Idaho broke a world record by slicing through 40 thrown apples in one minute while juggling three knives. Yeah. Really? Right. No, juggling three juggling. knives. Gotcha. Take a look. Three, look. Two, one, go. <laughs> That's bizarre, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, now this, slow mo. Yeah. This guy, by the way, has set about 150 Guinness records. He's raising money for, for uh, uh, STEM programs. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I understand it took about a year, uh, one and a, and a half years of, of casual training and several weeks of like really serious preparation to get to the level needed for this effort. And in, in case you didn't catch it, I said broke, not set the record. Yeah. Oh, that, someone yeah. tried this before? Yes, of it was did. actually held by another team who set this record at 36 apples sliced in 2018. Hannon threw 41 apples in the allotted time, but Rush missed one. So the record stands at 40. Missed one. How many innocent apples had to die to just practice to do this thing? Yes, but just think of the apple pies. Pick them up, clean them you up, want make apple a pie. pies, you're going to have to cut some apples. Yeah, he's like, it's no, like, no like more apple that. pie for right. us. No uh, more. Coming up. <laughs> Our friends from Orleans Trail Resort are here to talk to us about some of their upcoming events that we know you don't want to miss out on. Yeah, great food, great views, and great people over there. So don't go away. We're just getting started.